Please all kneel for the Horatio Imperata. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask for your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Ra, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Palihog Malingkod. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Our 9.30 a.m. Mass Intentions. Gregorian Mass for the souls of Felipe, Alipio, Maria, Portia, K. Agustina, K. Agustina, Carlos, Domingo, Angelina, Sosima, Felisa, Juan, K. Milagros, Anabel, Domingo, Basilisa, Jose, Emilio, Ricardo, Carlos, Milagros, Anabel, Eglesario, Agaton, Lilia, Petronila, Rene Boy, Abondio, Erlinda, Wim, Selvia, Rodrigo, Francis, Ivy, Giovanni, Casilda, Pedro, Santiago, Alicia, Adelaida, Presencio, Lidovina, Erlinda, Guillermo, and all souls in Purgatory. For the souls of Nieves, Simon, Sr., Esperanza, Jaime, Joliet, Efinia, Jeronima, Fortunata, Iolihio, Baltasar, Ninita, Juanita, Gloria, Gregorio, Incarnacion, Stephen Roy, Wilfredo, Jr., Felix Berto, Sr., Felix Berto, Jr., Igmedia, Victor, Iolihio, Rosalina, Angeles, Marcelina, Gaudiosa, Evelyn, Sardonio, John, Monsignor Cotianca, Monsignor Kianson, Monsignor Bashera, Father Lito, Father Serge, Anna Corita, Gemma, Evelyn, Lisbeth, Romolo Jr., Rogelio Sr., and all souls in Purgatory. Also for the soul of Alfeo Sr. and Daniel. Gregorian Mass for the souls of Vicente, Mario, Maricar, Jose, and Carmen. For the sixth death anniversary of Rosita, for all the souls in Purgatory. For the souls of Ignacio, Incognita, Francisco, Eugene, Jude, Pedro, Dolores, Esteban, Felisa, Wilfredo, Andrea, Pablo, Lamberto, Natividad, Marcelina, Sita, Smeter, Rostico, Susan, Marjorie, Felimon, Jr., Jane, Benjamin, Vilma, Jose, Briton, Anisita, Edelberto, Francisco, Sr., Emiliana, Franz, Francilito, Mercedes, Rosita, Simeon, Paulino, Fortunata, Juan, Barbara, Melendi, Santiago, Juanita, Victorio, Agosto, Flavia, Basilio, Carmelita, Manuel, Ernesto, Rostico, Jr., Jose, Pedro, Sr., Pedro, Jr., Gregoria, Nelson, Albert, Jesus, Pablo, Purificacion, Maria, Filarca, Chofilo, Norma, Janet, and all souls in Purgatory. Thanksgiving Mass for recovery and good health, for all the graces and blessings received, for good health, blessings, and graces received. For the 26th wedding anniversary of Linda and Rostico Calo Sr. For good health, recovery, graces, blessings received, and good health of all the family members. Personal petitions to Our Lady Fatima, Our Lady of Immaculate Conception, Our Lady of Nuts, 
Our Lady of Manawag, Black Nazarene, Senor Santo Nino, Mama Mary, and to all the angels and saints in heaven, for good health, recovery, graces, blessings received, and good health of all the family members. Petition prayer for peace and corruption in our country will stop, for healing of our country and the whole world. In honor to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Senior Santo Nino, Mother of Perpetual Help, Second Heart of Jesus, Saint Peter and Paul, Saint Michael, the Archangel, Holy Family, Berhen de San Parados, Immaculate Heart of Mary, and to all the angels and saints in heaven. Offers, devotees to Our Lady of Peña Francia, the Veranos Ronda Boncalon and family, Mr. and Mrs. Jose Rinaldo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alvin Racasa and Aljo, May Ann Amigo, Mario Villegas, Rosa Cadiz, Roy Kenneth Laurenti and family, Mr. and Mrs. Albert Alfaro and children, Mr. and Mrs. Vincent Calopas, Carlos family, Sebastian Asuncion, GMA, Chebom Becky and children, anonymous donor. Another Mass Intentions, Thanksgiving Mass in honor to the Holy Spirit, Mama Mary, Senior Santo Nino, Saint Joseph, and all the angels and saints in heaven for the blessings, graces, and good health received, offered by Anonymous. Mass for the souls of Casimiro, Dionysia, Sofia, Olpiano, Antipas, Rinaldo, Dorisa, or Dorina, and all souls in purgatory, offered by Anonymous. Pamisa sa Kalag ni Concita, Severino Elizabeth Megila Filomino, Holia Baby, Ana Pamisa si Miramonte Family. Mass for the Souls of Julian, Julian Veneranda Paterno Francisco Maxima Consuelo Alejandro Sr. Alejandro Jr. Offered by Engineer Jovi Tagalog and Family. Pamisa sa mga Kalag ni Laninita, Aniseta, Clemente, Solidad, o ang Tanang Kalag sa Purgatorio. Ang nagpamisa si Tita S. Alonso. Mass for the souls of Raymond Sosima, Clodoaldo Estela, Martino Sr., Pedro, and all souls in purgatory. Offered by Mr. and Mrs. Banilar and family. Thanksgiving Mass. To Sr. Santo Nino, Mama Mary, Lord God, and to all the... To Saints Peter and Paul for the blessings received. Offered by Ethel and Rethel and Homol. Pamisa sa Kalag nila Conching, Ellen Banda Richie, Pedro Erlinda o sa Tanang Kalag sa Purgatorio, offered by Anonymous. Dagang salamat. Ay, Wala, thanks. Ato is sabi appeal ang atong mga online intentions offered by Dimple Dayot, Yvonne Alonso, Lisel Albarillo, Nenet Villa, Jima Raff, Mary Lenny Maga, Emmy Cañete, Chela Pereja, Ismaila Pacot, Lossi Gore, May Seal, Bibet Cortez, Princess Ann Caberos, Viloria, Herbert Tugonon, Carmel Oliveros, Cañeso, Lani Balondo, Emma Kabugawan, Patricio Cristina, Mary Jane Aceo, Nelia Arcibal, Susan Katingob, Joan Obeda, Lilia Ovales, Lodivina Cross, Rosalinda Kaoktoy, Ara Cordilio, Regina Caparoso, Milani Magdadaro, Mary Lenny Maga, Froela V, Arlene De Los Santos, Kay Suarez, James Villegas, May May Dahay, Aida de Caiman Ricarte, Mayang Gats, Mercedita Salinas Lagusay, Shobi Villegas, Koying Oniko Mopen, Romeo Leong, Leia Amante Arma, Vina Jaime, Amparo Cores, Ablen Abigail, Maria Tita Toralba, Jen Jen Tomanda, Lourdes Sumalinog, and Fian, Marilyn Humauas, Nikki Lianas, Ray Dagil, Leticia Salazar, Penny Tan Espino, Jackie Condito. Additional Mass Intention, Mass for the Souls of Natividad, Manuel, Luis Remedios, and Selma Simeon, offered by Ophelia Martin. Mass for the Souls of... 
Francia, Erencia, Tomas, Aquiles, Reynaldo, Federico, Felix Berto, and all souls in purgatory offered by Ophelia Martin and family. Mass for the souls of Teresa, Mateo, Marvin, Susano, Gemma, Santiago, and all souls in purgatory offered by Mayet Mendoza. Dagang salamat.
fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of our virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God in the highest Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, 
by your wonderful care, keep us safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You juke me, O Lord, and I let myself be juke. You were too strong for me, and you triumph. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Song My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting. shadow of your wings 
second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourself to, the, to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The Word of the Lord. Please all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Many people of God, good morning. We are now celebrating the 22nd Sunday in the Ordinary Time. And the most striking statement that I have read in the Gospel of Matthew today, chapter 16, verse 21 to 27, was when Jesus rebuked Peter. He said, get behind me, Satan. You're an obstacle to me. Paluyo ka na ko, Satanas? Kaya ka babag ka ka na ko. Ano na isulti mang ginoon ni Kang Pedro? Imagine, before this gospel, this part of the gospel, Christ chose Peter to lead his community. Di palang dugay, no? Because Peter proclaimed, you're the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And as Jesus said, you are Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church. Not even the gates of hell will prevail against it. Di palang dugay, no? Immediately, when Christ told them that he would go to Jerusalem to suffer, Peter was afraid and he said, Simba ko in town, Lord, God forbid. No such thing should ever happen to you. Christ thought that Peter understood all the while that he was to suffer and die and rise from the dead. Peter thought that Christ's messiahship was one of glory, was one of success and temporal success. Peter could not see why pain and suffering were necessary for discipleship. 
You're going to see that. Like most of us, Peter failed to grasp the role of suffering in God's plan. Para kang Pedro, to follow Christ with a disciple would mean prestige and privilege, power and success. Because he saw Christ resurrect people from the dead. He saw Christ divide the five loaves and how many fishes to feed thousands. He saw Christ cleanse lepers. So Peter thought that Christ's kingdom was to be a kingdom of glory. Just simple, plain happiness. Always happy. Why problem? So Peter thought that the idea of Messiahship was all about splendor and glory. Monagido, Pedro because he thought that Peter understood everything. Everything. Many times Christ repeated that he would suffer, and the Son of Man must suffer greatly for the sake of other people. And Christ thought that Peter understood that. Christ reminded Peter and challenged him even to welcome hardships and accept pain and personal sufferings. Because to hold on to this life will mean losing this life. Brothers and sisters, you know what? The road to heaven is never a straight line. Yung ang tangan sa langit is straight? No. The road to heaven is narrow, rugged, liko-liko, and only a few people would like to go that way. Kita mga huwag na mga tag-straight, nga lapad, nga hayag, nga hamis. Ano naman ta, no? Kita nga nahanog risod. Much less do we want suffering in life. So, suffering is a reality of human life, like it or not. Dari ta gusto, we suffer. Our earthly pilgrimage is so full of trials and tribulations that is aptly called Valley of Tears, Balog ng Alohaan. Di pa inunta ata, kaya may promises sa 2020. Kung vision pa na straight, no? Perfect vision. Pinabot ang COVID. Nahap ang tanan. Nakabuo ang tanan. Nahadlok ang tanan. You see, no? So straight on ta to. Perfect on ta to vision ka 2020. Kasi ka perfect ba? Ang liso may noon ta ani. So, Christ's point in the gospel is that, yes, welcome good things in life, but also be ready to welcome not so good things in life. All of us, have our share of hardships and sufferings in the form of sickness, for example, loss of a job, or even death in the family. Nana, no? When things go wrong and affliction comes our way, we cry out and protest against God. Lord, ganong ani mani? You promised a 2020 year, perfect year. You promise that if you seek God's kingdom, all these things will be given you besides. Lord, you promise good things to those who obey you. Ano ang animan may kayong Lord? Baya ang Lord? Masin ba baya ko pero may kayong Domingo? Bisang kong lusod? Lord, I take risks in coming to Mass every Sunday. And there are other days in the week that I go to Mass. Lord, kung maamot ko, maamot ang bayat, maamot bayat po ko. Hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko tihik, Lord. So, so on, so forth. We make a litany of good actions and tell the Lord, Lord, nga nung anima ni? Suppose they expect good things, only good things from you. But why are you giving me bad things as well? 
It's a natural and tendency to turn our backs on trouble, of course, kebalutana. Our hearts are tempted to seek comfort in material things and to avoid hardships. That's a natural human tendency. So, maagod, magampo ta. Masa may atong kasakariyan po. Lord, mawano tayo COVID. That's number one. Di ba? Lord, dita ko magantos. Lord, nagantag kong kwarta. Namintalayin, Lord, please take this and that away from me. Kaya din isi may parang nako. That's how we pray. We pray and command the Lord to take away sufferings from life. So many people of God, being a Christian is a demanding honor. Yes, it's an honor, but demanding honor. Huh? Because God's way of doing things is contrary to human expectations. Get behind me, Satan. You're thinking that as God does, but as human beings do, and you are an obstacle to me. Babaga ka na and then Christ in the gospel, the following part of the gospel, stated his criteria for discipleship. So, in Gonsia, whoever wishes to come after me must, number one, there are three. Number one, deny himself. Deny himself. So, di na tatag na ang God priority, and then all the things, good things, including bad things, will come into our life. But God first, God first, deny ourselves first. And the second, in si Christo, take up His cross. So, apilay na sa atong kinabuhi ang cross. That's why the ultimate sign of Christianity and our faith is the cross. We begin what we do, bisang kong dili religious, with the cross. And the first thing that the priest does to the baptized child is put the sign of the cross on the forehead, agdang. One time, hindi kayo magdakha na gano, mga tumong pagka na gano, mga bari-bariyo, bunyag na nga ni, i-arrange na ko ang mga bunyagan, okay, ikaw di akahawan, to ano diha. Di hay, pinaka mga nanay or tatay, Ang sige, duko-duko hangad-hangad. Di ba, kung pimero, mas may hangad-hangad, duko-duko mo na sila. Di ay kay, di sa gusto makatamak ang cross, with ang tiles na, for example. Di sa gusto makatamak ang cross sa tiles. Mamuli kay sila, mapatunga sila, di sila, mamasaya sayaw. Ikaw, mas may, no, sa mamuli ha. Di kay kuan, mas aman. Na i-crossin ko, ay kabuang ninyo. The first thing that I will do to your son, or to you baptized, to, to the child that you have presented for baptism, would be the sign of the cross on the forehead. Nga kanil ako lang may mukusos, agtang mata, kamong ginikam, kurus mo siyang agtang, so turo na. O niya, pinagabok ninong ninang, siya tamo kurus agtang mata, hindi naghan na. Because the point is, we can never escape from cross in life, they are always there. Always there. Because I don't care for the relation, usahay magkabangi, magkabsanay. Of course, there's always the chance to say sorry and to forgive. So, kung saan ito po plano sa kinabuhi, nakipalpak, that's part of life. And we only sign up and move on. No matter how careful with our health, people die. And we pray for them. And life must go on. Take up your cross. And third, Ningus Christo, follow me. We can never, or we should never just deny ourselves, take up our crosses, but not follow the Lord. You have to follow the Lord. Kay mo na yung complete sa triad niya nga, criteria for discipleship. Deny oneself, take up our cross, and then begin to follow Christ. Kikaayong rin ato, no? Ang ginoo para sa kalamari na pasas niya, kurut niya, kita hayahay ta, ah. Kisagunta. If Christ followed 
carried his cross to Calvary and be made on it afterwards, then we have to do the same for ourselves. We have to carry our crosses to Calvary, be made to it, and then, ang sa Kristo, laban hao kaman tulak adlaw, kita o sa mong gihapon. To hold on to our life, balik ko na ko, on earth, is to lose it. The people of God, the measure of greatness in God's kingdom is the standard of the cross. For pagans, for the Gentiles, for the Jews, this would be a scandal. Kaya para nila, ako sa taong criminal, may ilan sa cross. May ilan sentensya na taong criminal, death on a cross. Di ba, two thieves? Pero mas less ang ilahang mas less ang ilahang a sentence tungkol kay was sa ilang sagigaid din sila they were tied to the cross pero ka worse ang Kristo because he was nailed to the cross cross na ginaydan sa pasiya so grabe ang insulto niya para nila grabe ang sala niya so balik ko na ko my dear people of God that we can be real Christians when we will be ready to accept the cross Balik ko na ako, like it or not, like it or not, huh? the message of greatness in God's kingdom is always through the standard of the cross. Please stand. Together, I believe in God, in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born to the Father, the role of ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father, and become again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's pray to our Heavenly Father that through the cross of Christ, His Son, He may bring us to the glory of His kingdom. Full of confidence, we pray and we say, Father, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons, and the proclaimers of God's word in our time, Lord, keep your word always burning in their hearts, that, they may, that it may be their inspiration and strength, we pray. Father, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For government leaders, Lord, help them see and judge things in the light of your truth so that they may not be snared by the lure of power, popularity, and instant gratification. We pray. Father, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us, Lord, help us live simply and selflessly, so that we can become good stewards and thus make holy your creation. We pray. Father, Father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who render service to family, family members, relatives, and other people in need. Lord, be their strength and reward, especially in their moments of fatigue and discouragement, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. For the sick, the oppressed, the heavily burdened, and the dying. Lord, make them feel that you are with them in their struggle, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions.
We pray. Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Jesus secures our faith to Peter and his successors. Give us the grace to keep and cherish our unity of faith in your church. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice is yours. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and our good of all his holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just your due to our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. To the Holy Father Almighty and eternal God. For your children miscarried afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and temples of the Holy Spirit. Mighty the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy be proclaimed. Oh, holy, You indeed, Holy Lord, and Pounds of Holiness, make holy the Emperor's gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed, and until we lead into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapo was entered, 
He took the chalice and was for giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of your eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, to this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we open, Lord, the bed of life for the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we will pray the partake of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, by Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity, together with Francis of Pope and John the Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and Saint Peter and Paul, Saint Raphael, Saint Rock, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Colomsod, and all the saints of Jesus throughout the ages, we be merged, we coerced, to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, mighty Father, you through the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As he was commanded for by divine teaching, we dare to say. Us, Lord, we pray for every evil and gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait better to hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. There's no upper side of the side of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, be all of taste of the disease of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and my thirsty, you see, enter and they be ruled. Don't say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present and the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, we confirm our hearts and stir up to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Palihog malingkod para sa Usaka Pahibalo. Magpasalamat kita sa atong cable TV or MOC sa radio natin 107.1 FM sponsored by Mali Sanchez. Magpasalamat usab kita sa nagsaulog sa atong sentos ngami sa karon ng mao sa Reverend Father Rafael Pipito. Magpasalamat usab kita sa atong lector ang atong choir, ang atong samis, collector, knights of the altar, and extraordinary ministers of the Holy Eucharist. O kaninyong tanang, amitambong nining atong santos ngamin sa karon, dagang salamat. Palihog manindog para sa atong himno. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercies, provide for your servants 
and ensure the safety so that strengthened by your blessings they may at all times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with an ending exultation to Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our masses and the go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May the Christ without sin. Good day, dear Father, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Salamat. And please stay safe.